It's Friday, and I'm ready to party. Been adulting all week. It's time to put my dancing shoes on my feet. Call my crew, say y'all ready. Beep, beep, they outside already. We about to have a good time. Live our best life in our prime. We dancing the whole night away. Sweating in December. Hey, what's up, y'all? And welcome back to Planting with the Seed. My name is Johnny Douglas, and I am the owner of My Hungry Vegan. Today, we're going to do a quick kale salad, something that I go to on a daily basis, as soon as I'm lazy, when I get home, I don't have that many ingredients and I'm just working with whatever I have. So we're gonna get into this jerk chickpea kale salad. I know it sounds like a lot, but let's go ahead and get to chopping, okay? So for the first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna get some fresh kale and we're going to put this into our bowl. Just a few, a few bunches of kale. I actually sourced this from um, a local farmer's market of mine, uh, Wolf Farmer's Market. Just cut it off, and then this is some uh, a little grapeseed oil. Kale can be a little rough, so it's important to, to massage it in. Um, it has so many wonderful antioxidants. You can grow it right in your backyard. Um, it's so good for so many different things. You can put it in soups, all those things. Then we have uh, some turnip greens. So I'm gonna cut up a few turnip greens. Put those in and like I said this is like such a quick recipe that you can do in the middle of the week you don't want to eat too crazy um, but you are limited on time this is exactly what you need I'm chopping up some tomatoes now I'm gonna put in all of my core ingredients first and then start the massage process I have some salt uh, chickpeas, garbanzo beans, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I actually got these ones out of the can um, because the ones that you have to like boil and all those good things, they take a little longer. And for me, they just never get that softness that I'm looking for. Let's add in some banana peppers. My favorite. Add in banana peppers. Then we're gonna add in a yellow bell pepper. One of my favorites, if you've ever just eaten a yellow bell pepper just by itself, you know that it, it's naturally sweet um, and it's just like a nice snack. And anything that I've ever had from um, Caribbean restaurants, they always have a yellow bell pepper, uh, tri-color bell peppers, honestly. So it's a must. I'm gonna add some fresh pineapple in as well. Let's add that pineapple in. Boom. All right. Now, what we'll be massaging it with is going to be the grapeseed oil, of course. We'll put a little bit more of that on here. We have nutritional yeast, my go to. So, the first thing that we're going to do, as far as for seasoning wise, is other than nutritional yeast, a little bit of lemon pepper, you know, you know me. We're also going to get this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful purple cabbage. You can also juice that as well. Chop that up. Mm. I just love the sound of the crunch, y'all make me feel like I'm doing something in the day. All right, put that in there. Now it's said that we're supposed to eat the rainbow. And I definitely, as a, a loyal rainbow member, um, I can say <laughs> that this is the rainbow for sure. When you eat the rainbow, you truly, truly, truly feel so good. All right. that a squeeze of lemon okay and this is some pre-made Caesar dressing that I have vegan Caesar dressing of course that we're gonna massage with okay so let's drape that over as much as you want as much as your heart desire and 
put in our jerk paste. This is mild jerk paste, so don't worry. Put in a little bit still because you just never know. Put a little bit of that in there and toss it up. Massage it up. Now while that's doing this thing, go ahead and make just a simple, simple, simple dressing. The actual dressing. So I'm gonna use some coconut cream. Just a little bit. Some jerk paste. cumin add in a little bit more lemon tad bit of oil and mix that baby right on up if you see it's too thick like this is just add in some of that coconut cream juice little oil to thin it out and then now this is a hack that I love especially if you don't have fresh pineapple on hand get you a can okay don't be afraid of these cans some of them you should but you know for the most part they're okay um, get you a little bit of pineapple juice add that in there and if you're anything like me I love my salad like drenched not soggy but drenched Hell, you can't really make it soggy, to be honest with you. So, let's put a little bit of that over there. Put to the side and toss that baby right on up. Now, if y'all really know me, y'all already knew what was coming next. Avocado, like what? What are we doing without it in our lives? First and foremost, <laughs> that's another story for another day. So, go ahead and get your avocado out. Oop. Get that avocado, dice it up, pretty or not. <laughs> as long as it gets into my belly, that's all that matters. Dice that thing up. I just use half of it, because you might need it for another time. You never know. Dice it up. Give it a quick mix, and guess what? You are all done. You just planted that seed for the probably the rest of the day, cause this is all me. Like this is a personal salad. Um, so, all right, y'all. So let's go ahead and get this thing plated up, and let's eat. You then just planted that seed for at least a day. This is definitely a personal size for me. Plate that salad up those vegetables are still chunky make sure you get everything in there and let's take a quick bite mm. Mm, that's it y'all it's so good <laughs> it's so good y'all mm. you have your kale you have your turnip greens, you, everything. It just marries so good together. The jerk isn't too overbearing. So I just added a little bit. It's so good. So, 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 so good. So now I have this salad, this amazing jerk chickpea salad, y'all. Literally came off the dome, but it's now in my stomach. So please like, share, and comment for more. Make sure you plant that seed and go ahead and make you a vegan meal, y'all. And until next time, I'll catch y'all on the other side. Stay hungry. Bye.